Welcome back to our educational journey. Today we're delving into the captivating history of money, tracing its evolution through time and uncovering its impact on various aspects of our world. I'm excited to take you on this insightful ride. Money as we know it today wasn't always around. In fact, the earliest forms of trade involved a direct exchange of goods and services, a system known as barter. Imagine trading a basket of fruits for a woven blanket. However, this approach had its limitations. It often resulted in uneven trades and was challenging to coordinate. This need for something more efficient paved the way for the birth of new forms of money. Barter was a common practice in the early days of human civilization. It was a system of exchanging goods and services directly, without the use of money. Barter was often difficult and inefficient, as it could be hard to find someone who had the goods or services that you wanted, and who was willing to trade them for the goods or services that you had. The invention of money solved many of the problems with barter. Money is a medium of exchange that can be used to buy goods and services from anyone, regardless of whether they have the goods or services that you want. Money is also more portable and divisible than goods and services, making it easier to trade and store. The first forms of money were made from precious metals such as gold and silver. These metals were valuable and easy to transport, making them ideal for use as money. Coins were eventually minted from precious metals, making them even more convenient to use. Paper money was invented in the 17th century. Paper money is not backed by precious metals, but by the trust that people have in the issuing authority. Paper money is still used today, but it is increasingly being replaced by digital forms of money such as credit cards and electronic payments. Coins were first minted in Lydia, a kingdom in what is now Turkey, around 600 BC. Coins were made from precious metals, such as gold and silver, and they were stamped with the image of the king or ruler. Coins quickly became popular because they were easy to carry and transport, and they were more reliable than barter. Paper money was invented in China in the 11th century. Paper money was not backed by precious metals, but by the trust that people had in the government. Paper money was initially used for small transactions, but it eventually became the main form of currency in China. Paper money was introduced to Europe in the 17th century. Paper money was initially distrusted by the public, but it eventually became the main form of currency in Europe as well. Coins and paper money are still used today, but they are increasingly being replaced by digital forms of money, such as credit cards and electronic payments. Fast forward to the present day, and money is the lifeblood of modern business. It's the grease that keeps the wheels of industry turning. From paying employees to investing in innovative ventures, money fuels growth and progress. However, this powerful tool comes with a catch. It can also exacerbate wealth inequality, leaving us to ponder how to strike the right balance. Money is essential for business. It is used to pay for raw materials, labor and other expenses. It is also used to invest in new products and services. Money is the lifeblood of any business, and it is essential for economic growth. However, money can also be a source of inequality. The rich can use their money to invest in assets that appreciate in value, such as stocks and real estate. This can lead to a widening gap between the rich and the poor. It is important to find ways to use money in a way that benefits everyone. This means investing in education and job training so that everyone has the opportunity to succeed. It also means regulating the financial system to prevent excessive wealth accumulation and promoting fair competition. The responsible use of money within business can catalyze innovation, create job opportunities, and contribute to a thriving economy. Striking a balance between individual success and societal welfare is a challenge we must address in our evolving financial landscape. As economies expanded, money's influence transcended national borders, deeply entwining with geopolitics. Economic strength often translates to political power, enabling nations to shape international dynamics. Through financial aid, trade agreements and diplomatic leverage, 
powerful countries can exert considerable influence over others. But the complex interplay of economics and politics raises questions about the ethics and accountability of such influence. The global reach of money isn't without its downsides. Economic dominance can breed dependency, creating a cycle of unequal partnerships that can destabilize regions and perpetuate vulnerabilities. Striving for a fair distribution of resources and power on the global stage is an ongoing pursuit that challenges our understanding of money's reach. Transitioning to our environmental frontiers, money wields significant sway over one of humanity's most pressing issues, climate change. The investments we make with our funds can either fuel environmental degradation or fuel sustainability. The fossil fuel industry, historically a major recipient of financial support, has contributed to ecological crises. However, a growing movement advocates for divesting from environmentally harmful industries and redirecting investments towards renewable energy and eco-conscious practices. This pivotal moment marks a chance to redefine money's purpose. By channeling financial resources into green technologies and sustainable initiatives, we can reshape the world's trajectory, moving towards a future where money not only promotes prosperity, but safeguards the planet. Peering into the shadows of money's history, the influence of human greed becomes evident. The quest for more wealth has driven individuals and institutions to engage in unethical practices, exacerbating economic disparities and environmental degradation. A concentrated accumulation of resources has often occurred at the expense of societal well-being, prompting us to re-evaluate the role of money in shaping our values and priorities. Recognizing the negative impact of greed, we stand at a crossroads, an opportunity to redefine our relationship with money. By prioritizing ethical investments, equitable distribution, and sustainable practices, we can steer the course of money's evolution towards a more just and harmonious future. And there you have it. An enlightening expedition through the evolution of money's history and its profound influence on our world. From ancient barter systems to the digital transactions of today, money's journey intertwines with the progress, challenges, and ethics of humanity. Remember, money is not merely a means of exchange. It's a force that shapes our lives, communities, and global interactions. As we navigate the intricate landscape of money, let's be mindful of the choices we make with it. The responsible use of money can catalyze positive change contributing to a more equitable society and a sustainable planet. Thank you for joining me on this exploratory voyage. And if you found this journey intriguing, remember to like, subscribe. Until next time, keep questioning, keep learning and keep making a difference.